they figured it out. The globalists have figured it out and they're scared. And they should be. But it's my belief in human destiny and human power that does it, my, not my own vision of myself. I have subserved that because that is weakness. The individual is strength, but I am a total individualist collectivist, a term I've coined, where I believe in individuals as, as like panopticonic compound eyes of a dragonfly, seeing the universe as God experiences life through us, and then building towards something better, but through our individual actions and assessments, constructing a new, bigger, better world and universe. So we are individuals, but we are total collectivists. But the globalists say, no, no, the top down, it will collectivize you. Well, that's, that's slavery, but not the individuals coming together and building a new, better world and not forcing others to follow the ideas we have. But clearly, that always rises and is the best way. And there are always outliers and systems that set up, and they're never successful. But then they come with their tail between their legs when we've built the new world and say, oh, let us in. We, we now agree. But really, they come in and immediately try to subverse what God has done in heaven here on earth. Because we're repeating it over and over again. Because you can't just set up new new systems, you just can't set up new civilizations throughout the cosmos and then have the old decadent corrupt system put it in place. God has to set us up and then let us go back through the process of choice, just like children growing up. And everyone instinctively knows it. We're given the blueprint. We're given the direction. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost doesn't set us up for failure. We're given a blueprint. We're given instruction. And God even spanks us. And God cries when we fall and fail. And that's really what it is. Let's go back to the enemy of the people. I mean, CNN and MSNBC have taken billions from China, over a billion from Gulf War states, uh, Gulf, uh, 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 Gulf dictatorships on record. Let's look it up. And they actively try to demoralize this country and destroy this nation. So does MSNBC and so do the other channels. The New York Times is the main fount of the globalist attack on America. The Washington Post is trying to emulate that. They coordinate with their newspapers. It's come out in Europe with the corrupt elements of the intelligence agencies, but they're actually outside the intelligence agencies. They set the intelligence agencies up to enter them and then and do bad things to then blame America. So it's a very sophisticated system where they come in, have us commit the crime, and then withdraw. Always in their lust to dominate the spirit of America because they know they'll never control it, but if they can trick it, I mean, you know the analysts in the different agencies and different foundations. There's no one more they hate than the strong men and women in our military and the honorable people. And they're so threatened by it. So it's always a little crone-like demon, hunchback Satanist in control of our military forces and control of the CIA and control of everything. Because they fear real men and women who actually have destiny and will being in control of it to then interface with the people and lift up humanity and make the jump to the next level. So everything is about their their, their obsession with harnessing us as their slaves. I am not your slaves. I'm here to empower people and loose them upon the universe through free will. And I'll die trying, but I will succeed. I am expendable. And it's the most selfish thing I've ever said. The dream of humanity in the future. I don't want to just die and have the planet get blown up in some super war with you know, antimatter weapons in 20 years. They've already got, three countries already have them. I don't want to see some bioweapon. No, no, no. I want to see us figure this out, build a real system of competition so we do strengthen people, make them compete, build them up, and then launch massive uh, interstellar operations, interdimensional operations. Everybody wants to sign up and explore, and a lot of people are going to die doing it, but it's a beautiful thing. It's free will. And let people take experimental drugs and let people do whatever they want. You know, for life extension, I'm all about unloose it all now. Get behind me, Satan, now, Skelter. Behind me, you weak, hunchback, degenerate with, with, with half a chromosome too many. I see you, twisted demon, and the programming in you. You will fail. You will fall. It's been foretold. Out of my way. Go off and create your own system. You idiots could have sat around another 50 years and you could have launched out and built your own thing. Just get away from us. Leave us alone. We want to be with God. That's who we serve, not Lucifer. We want the real God. 
That's who we serve, not you. You will never control us, you piece of filth. <sighs> so, here's the false flag. That's their God. Look what they hold up as a symbol of evil. Here they are with their little false flag call. I mean, if this isn't a false flag, I'm a monkey's uncle. I'm a blue-butted baboon from planet Pluto. And now, right after they say the terror attacks come and the threat on the press is coming, when they hype everything up and get it ready for civil war into the fall, like I told you, and they've got Rob Reiner and all their hunchback generals up there, so pissed they're ugly and twisted, so pissed they're falling, they want to pull you down. And they announce, oh, someone's going to attack us. Someone's going to get violent when they're the only ones that stand again from becoming martyrs. But they're all too cowardly to be the martyrs themselves. So instead, there's this phone call. It's phony as a $3 bill or Obamacare being free. Here it is. On Friday, a caller to C-SPAN said he's going to shoot me and Don Lemon if he sees us. Now, let me just preface this by saying I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't think I'm in extreme danger. I know some of my colleagues get much worse threats than I do. CNN has a great security team, and we know how to handle this stuff. And this problem is not confined to CNN. People at Fox News and other outlets have to deal with this garbage, too. But these kinds of threats are coming in more often. So take a listen. Here's the phone call. Don, State College Pennsylvania supports the criticism of the media. Don, you are on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it, all, it all started when Trump got elected. Brian Stelter and Don Lemon from CNN called Trump supporters all racist. They don't even know us. Okay, let me just stop it right there. I've never called all Trump supporters racist. So pause again. Uh, you've said he's a racist. You've said they're all bad. You pushed your crap. You race-baiting little monster. Continue. Neither has Don Lemon. So what this guy is about to say is predicated on a lie. I don't even know these Americans out here, and they're calling us racist because we voted for Trump? Come on, give me a break. They started the war. I see him, I'm going to shoot him. Bye. So he says we started a war, so if he sees us, he's going to shoot us. So where did the caller get the impression that I called all Trump supporters racist? You know, I know. pause. I love how they say anyone criticizing the media is anti-free speech when that's just criticizing liars. But I need to be taken off the air because I'm a disease. You used a Nazi term that I am a disease, you little monster hunchback. You little ugly, twisted, lying filth. You want to bully the American people. You want to attack us all. We got your own WikiLeaks where you give Hillary the questions beforehand. You do all these horrible things. And then you sit there with that call that sounds completely fake. But it doesn't matter. We get those calls every hour. I can sit up for all day and play death threats. For mentally ill people, you name it, and go, oh, my God, I'm under so much danger. You are the ones that started the climate. You are the ones that pushed us into this. Continue. I know that the night before on Fox, Sean Hannity played a two-year-old clip of me asking if racial anxiety was a factor in Trump's rise. Obviously, researchers have proven that, yes, racial anxiety and resentment was a factor. Oh, why? Because the left's running the around saying whites are inherently evil. Go after them. Hey guys, my name is Savannah Hernandez, and if you're always on the go like me, then you're not always tied to your computer or TV. So we just released our free InfoWars official app. The InfoWars official app includes all of our live broadcasts like War Room with Owen Troyer, Real News with David Knight, and the holy grail of podcast and radio, The Alex Jones Show. And the best part about the InfoWars official app is that every single time we go live, you get notifications so that you never miss a beat. The InfoWars official app integrates some of the most up-to-date news stories, reports, and specials from the InfoWarsStore.com. So whether you're in the car or on a run, this app makes it easy to keep the InfoWar right in your pocket. So what are you waiting for? Download the InfoWar official app for tomorrow's news today for free from the Apple Store or in Google Play.